Your sleep vacation starts here as you enjoy a cozy cabin bedtime story for grown-ups. This week's bedtime story is sponsored by Live Lab, a U.S. and French company founded by ex-insomniacs and sleep experts. They've recently developed a new sleep and sound mask called the Whom Band Ultimate. This band is as pillowy as a marshmallow. It's completely adjustable and made of breathable bamboo fabric. The Whom Band Ultimate puts zero pressure on your eyes and offers flat speakers so you can listen comfortably throughout the night. It's perfectly designed to escape the outside world and explore the sanctuary of your mind. Whom Band is one of the first companies to ever reach out to me to create original stories. Their app contains over 100 hours of content to help you sleep and relax. If you want to discover these exclusive stories by me and enjoy the ultimate experience in relaxation and comfort, give Whom Band Ultimate a try. You're listening to Cabin Dreams, A Frame on a Lake. A sleep story sat on a secluded lake on the cusp of autumn. Cherish the soothing moments in a restored A-frame cabin with walls that have only known the sounds of joy and laughter in this beloved getaway. From dawn to dusk, experience the splendor in making the cabin your home away from home, connecting with nature and the serenity of the season. It's time to dream away. Welcome to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, your trusted guide and companion on this tranquil voyage to New Hampshire as autumn arrives. In this charming season of change, welcome the chance to slow down and unwind. So many great things you desire in life. Take time and patience. But in the sanctuary of your mind, you may change every detail with a single thought. Customize this experience so it remains unique to your needs and whims. Letting go of my voice when the allure of sleep becomes too much to resist. And in your sacred place for dreaming, enjoy the descent into the comforts of your imagination, casting away all concerns and silencing the noise of the outside world. Within the haven of your room, Feel a gentle shift in the air as it circulates. Become enveloped by the soothing crispness of fall, a season that enhances sleep and stirs your inner desire to snuggle and get comfy. Let out a sigh, sending the message and intention that you are ready to stand down. Every breath brings you closer to the soft edge of sleep and carries you farther away from the happenings of the day. Inhale slowly, considering that this breath could be the most luxurious experience In this moment, imagine the lapping sounds of a lake and the delicate sugary scent of changing leaves coming together to offer you repose and comfort. As you inhale and expand to your utmost capacity, feel free to let out a yawn or simply go straight into an exaggerated sigh, letting your body know that you are consciously ready 
to slow down and embrace peace. This time as you inhale, you take in the mentholated notes of conifer trees as if the towering trunks form a protective evergreen circle around your bed. As you yawn and then sigh, the lush needles sway, susurrating with soothing messages like guardians of the night. One more time, you continue this pattern of breathing as you go inward. Let yourself be captivated by the freshwater aroma of a New Hampshire lake that still retains the radiant warmth of summer as the golden light of autumn reflects on its glassy surface. On your last sigh, make a sound of release. And when you're ready, return your breath to its natural rhythm. As you feel the essence of autumn settling within your relaxed body, savor the simple act of self-care. Celebrate your ability to self-soothe as you sink deeper into your bed and welcome the readiness to embark on a journey to a lakeside retreat. It's time for the story to begin. Sometimes the simplest of designs are those that rouse the deepest of feelings. Feelings of safety, love, home. The Afray cabin originated in Europe along the snow-capped Alps, its distinctive triangular shape emulating mountain peaks. A-frames were simple and efficient dwellings that housed livestock and stored hay. But in the mid-20th century, a thirst for leisure and holiday homes caused A-frame cabins to gain popularity, popping up in remote locations in forests, along lakeside and mountainside retreats. The A-frame's steep, sloping roofs also resembled the tops of evergreen trees seamlessly blending with nature. The soaring ceilings create a sense of openness, and the communal design enhance moments shared among families, friends, and loved ones, gathering by the fire to converse into the night and get lost in card and board games. Over time, A-frames became emblematic of mid-century modern design and leisure, a symbol of pioneering adventures and dreamy, rustic escapes. You discovered your A-frame cabin by a design of fate, or perhaps an algorithm that showcased the 1960s cabin. Somehow you knew instantly that this home was meant to be yours. You journeyed on a quiet road that snaked through a lakeside hamlet in New Hampshire, leading you to a community of fellow cabin lovers since the town first sprouted up along the lakeside shore, a friendly competition began when every resident aspired to make their cabins and cottages the coziest and the most reflective and harmonious with the natural landscape. Upon stepping into the A-frame, 
as the realtor placed the keys in your hands and ownership became a reality. You felt the eras of love that seemed to breathe through the pine wooden planks of the ascending ceilings. Both faces of the triangular cabin look out on the ever-changing beauty of a lake and forest. Left in the vacant dwelling with your dog, you could feel the cabin's heartbeat match the tempo of your own heart as you began to slow down and lose yourself in the comforting waves of bliss brought on by this rustic hideout. You darted back and forth between rooms from the forest side to the lake side, unable to settle on your favorite view. Every window peered into something magical, a hawk's nest in an oak tree, a raccoon's hollow, a kaleidoscope of monarch butterflies, and the golden lake that seemed to go on forever giving only a blurry hint of its distant shoreline where another A-frame stood. The walls of this home had only absorbed the vibrations of laughter, animated conversations, and evolving dreams. With a handful of owners over the last 80 years, Every one of them and their friends and family arrived at the cabin with a sense of peace and glee. Here one could be free of stress, planning, and modern inconveniences. You inhaled the sweet, dusty smell of old wood as floorboards creaked beneath your feet and you imagined the restoration and new enhancements that would make this home uniquely yours. It felt good to rise on those cool early mornings that preceded even the hottest of summer days. The first splashes in the lake would come from a couple in their 70s who equated that sunrise swim as an added boost to the black coffee that warmed them up after swimming the same numbers of laps as their respective ages. You too would enjoy your morning beverage of choice, feeling the steam on your face as mist evaporated over the lake. You'd watch as your dog raced up and down the emerald hill that led to the rocky beach and dock, welcoming the day with zoomies. The sweet pup would then bask in the sun throughout the late morning as it filtered through a canopy of evergreen branches while you got to work. The freshness of the morning air would be replaced with the smells of sawdust and fresh paint as you transformed each room into a tangible reality inspired by daydreams crafted over time some long ago. The vintage details of the A-frame cabin felt like a treasure trove of history and every nook and piece that remained had a connection to the past, lingering in the beloved memories of those who resided here before you. Painting the A-frame brought a deep sense of renewal 
and creative personalization. You meticulously selected which parts of the dark weathered wood boards needed replacement or a bit of TLC. You polished the beams as your choice music echoed through the lofty space and a breeze came in off the lake. When you were ready, you painted accent walls and chosen beams with colors and stains that harmonized with the natural surroundings. Opting for a deep, soothing shade of sapphire for the kitchen to mirror the rich blues of the lake on those quiet mornings. Working on the A-frame gave time for your mind to wander and reflect to get lost in the meditative process of resurrecting the cabin into a place that would be yours for as long as you desired and needed. Every day it felt more and more like home, an extension of your inner sanctuary aligned with your passions and comforts. You found places to showcase forgotten mementos and scoured local shops for decor and furnishing that reflected and supported the experiences you wanted to have. On the first week of autumn, you returned to the A-frame for the first time since its completion, with a sense of satisfaction that the only work to remain will be the delightful tasks of decorating for new seasons and holidays. You walk up the gravel path that leads to the front door as your pet trails behind you. And like all those who arrived at this A-frame before you, your cares and concerns evaporate like the morning mist on the lake with each step. Honeyed light reflects off the windows as the late day September sun creates a luminous aura around the cabin. You stained in a shade that makes you happy. Towering sunflowers bow to you along the path, succumbing to the last weeks of bloom. The breeze rustles the grass and pine needle islands that scatter the front yard. The summer crowds have returned home and the lake becomes more secluded. You can feel the deep exhalation of nature, relieved to transition into a season of transformation and rest. You ascend the front steps appreciating one of the most captivating vintage details, the stained glass window in the front door. During renovations, you polished the glass tiles with care, admiring how the myriad of colors changed in the light and cast vibrant patterns across the floor. The stained glass pieces depict the lake on a moonlit night, featuring rich shades of blue, green, purple, and teal. The window is a fusion of art and history, hearkening back to when the first cabins dappled the lakeshore 
and a teenage artist went door to door, offering to add a mural or custom stained glass window. She wisely capitalized on the innocent competition for charm in the community, and her name remains engraved in cursive at the bottom of the window, Beatrice Russell. You enter the open-air living room, eager for cooler nights, so you can settle by the rustic stone fireplace, curled up with a drink and book, and of course your pet. New light fixtures hang from the exposed wooden beams, and sparkling orange-gold sunshine pours through the skylights. Elements of the past remain, but the newest additions, throw blankets, pillows, and area rugs, add pops of your favorite colors and patterns. The pieces you inherited with the house exude a warm and inviting ambiance, as if they've been frozen in time. The original stereo system has been resurrected and is positioned near crates of vinyl, accumulated and left behind with popular board games and time-worn puzzles. You remove your shoes, slide your feet into fuzzy slippers and walk to the kitchen to feed your pup. The kitchen has been a labor of love in your efforts to retain its original charm. The old cast iron stove has been artfully restored and its charcoal black exterior now gleams with a renewed luster. The energy of intimate conversations shared in the kitchen as generations old recipes were prepared and enhanced with new dashes of something here or there still permeates the renovated space. The naughty wood cupboards with their quirky crescent moon cutouts remain a nod to the past occupant's sense of whimsy and style. You've carefully preserved the shelves and cupboards, recognizing that they are an integral part of the cabin's character. And in the cabinet nearest the stove rests a tin box containing hundreds of handwritten recipe cards left with a cabin for the chance that these culinary traditions would carry on. As your pet eagerly sits below you, their tail dusting the restored floorboards, you prepare an early dinner in a ceramic bowl for them and then place it down you make yourself a warm drink, your favorite tonic to sip on crisp autumn nights, and pour it into a mug from a new dinnerware set that brings you joy each opportunity you have to use it. While your dog munches on the last of kibble, your mind wanders with a deep sense of pride for all you have done to create this cabin getaway. The act of clearing out some of the old while maintaining the cabin's integrity has been a delicate balancing act. But you followed your instincts and embraced the creative power 
and freedom you had to design an experiment to your fancy. Your tastes and preferences led you as the opinions of anyone else faded away. Of course, you consulted professionals when necessary and hired other souls who understood your vision. But this place was a direct reflection of your love, commitment, and dreams. Some of the vintage furnishings, although beautiful, were simply too worn to salvage. Yet you've taken great care to replace them with pieces that complement the cabin's aesthetic. The old upholstered armchair by the sliding glass doors has given way to a plush, equally inviting seat. And the rickety antique coffee table has been upgraded with a handcrafted wooden one made with care to match the cabin's original design. The most magnificent wood was acquired in the 70s to make a 10-person farmhouse-style dining table that you were thrilled to keep. Decorated with tall tapered candles in antique holders and dried sprigs of lavender grown in the garden and set in a crystal vase. It's classy yet rustic at the same time. A large bronze bowl filled with apples picked from a local orchard sits next to the vase, perfectly capturing the transition from summer to fall. This table brought so many people together throughout time for memorable feasts and rainy nights spent reminiscing and playing Monopoly and Uno. Beneath the table, you discovered the pen-carved initials of a six-year-old boy who secretly left his mark when the table was transformed into an indoor tent on a rainy day. He felt no other way to ensure that this would be his hideaway forever but his memories kept it for him. Long after that boy had grown up, so many people to enjoy this A-frame wanted to leave a mark as delible as the one the cabin left on them. As the sun gracefully retreats beyond the placid lake, you grab a thick, warm sweater from the coat tree by the door and bundle in it. The briskness of night slips in quickly, and you are prepared for the sweater weather as you step outside with your warm mug. Moments like this make it hard to pinpoint your favorite time of day or season at the cabin. But something about the rich light of encroaching fall. When daylight hours become brief, makes you cherish the autumn sunsets most. An elegant concrete fire pit sits in the heart of the deck and you strike a match and bring flames to life. You settle in an Adirondack chair that contours around your lower back 
as your pet settles in the nearby chair atop a plush flannel blanket. Your heart warms to imagine the many more nights this may become your routine. Coming down from the day with the grace of the first leaves that have changed hues and drift towards the forest floor and lake. You sip your drink, reveling in its silky warmth as the sun disappears. Your breathing slows as you sigh. Your dog is already halfway to sleep. Their once excited eyes now give way to a stillness as glassy as the lake. The water reflects the shifting hues of the sky, transforming from a brilliant azure to bands of hot pink, fiery orange, and periwinkle. The lake mirrors the vibrant colors overhead before settling into its twilight serenity, reminding you of the slower transition of colors that weaves through summer and autumn. You close your eyes and inhale the smells of burning wood and the metallic notes of the twilight lake. A breeze carries a wave of warmth off the water where the wings of iridescent dragonflies flutter above the saturated gold and peachy pink ripples. The symphony of twilight joins the crackles and pops of the fire as the leaves rustle and crickets add their chirping song. The distant call of a lone loon echoes across the water, a cry that many scientists believe is a way the bird announces to its peers that it is still here. As a boat makes its way across the lake on a sunset cruise, it causes gentle waves that lap against the squeaky dock and rocky shore in a soothing rhythm. If nature were to have a heartbeat at this time of day, it will be represented by those serene laps. As you gaze out over the water, more dragonflies appear, darting with speed, dancing in a playful choreography. In tune with the season, they engage in a final celebration of the warmer months and quiet times before the inevitable chill settles in. With each passing minute, the sunset deepens in its intensity. The sky evolves through shades of tangerine, coral, and lavender, creating a breathtaking canvas above the tranquil lake. You take another sip of your drink that leaves you with a complacent fullness, warming you from the inside out. Everything about this moment feels soft, dreamy, 
and simply good. You watch as the sky darkens into a velvety marine blue and the lake in turn matches its nocturnal tones. Stars light up the sky, reflecting on the lake like silver freckles as the flames turn into embers and the passing of time seems to quicken as you hold on to these beautiful moments. As you put out the fire, for a moment you are mesmerized by the formations in the embers, like a portal to memories and dreamscapes, heartwarming and life-affirming visions paint your mind. You see spontaneous night swims and canoe rides at dawn, visions of sunbathing on the creaking dock next to your pup, and the soft in-between of reality and an incoming nap. The smell of caramelized sugar on roasted marshmallows and the sharp breath you take during the first cold dip in the lake in the early days of summer. Thoughts of steamy outdoor showers as the fireflies dance outside the wooden walls and the moon rises overhead soothes you. One by one, images and feelings lead you from the outside world into the cozy embrace of your A-frame cabin. Once inside, you wash away the day in the quaint bathroom, adorned with lake-inspired knickknacks and black and white photos left behind by the previous owners. You towel off and change into pajamas as your dog attempts to lick the last drops of shower water from your feet. You ascend the spiral stairs that lead to the bedroom loft overlooking the rest of the home with a bird's eye view of the lake. It offers the coziness of a sleeping nook with the softest of blankets and the plushest of pillows piled high. Soft fairy lights drape above the headboard like a band of stars and a skylight over the mattress gives a view of the pristine night sky. The wooden beams overhead bearing the weathered marks of time cradle the loft like protective branches of a tree. A modern chandelier with Edison bulbs hangs from the apex and is dimmed to its lowest setting, creating a warm ambiance as you prepare for bed. Diamond-shaped windows open out onto the night, inviting in the cool evening breeze and lakeside soundtrack where the triangular ceiling meets the floorboards 
A library of books and journals is carefully arranged in the order of a rainbow's hues. Windows on both sides of the space look out onto the lake and forest. Spider plants cascade over baskets nestled in macrame that hang from the exposed wooden beams. The long green tendrils are the first to receive the morning light as it pours through the skylights. An eclectic assortment of framed botanical prints, dried flower arrangements, and antique mirrors that reflect the cozy beauty of the room. Hang on the slanted walls. Every corner of the sleeping loft radiates cottage court charm as vintage treasures and natural elements capture the essence of a more idyllic time. You turn off the lights and nestle into the bed as your pet settles in their new yet familiar spot. You inhale the cool air and revel in the warmth of new freshly laundered sheets and bedding. The gentle rustling of leaves and distant sounds of the lake brings the same soothing backdrop that ushers all animals and humans in this lakeside setting into the embrace of sleep. The pillows covered in satiny cool pillowcases cradle your head in a cloud of softness. The fragrance of lavender and a hand-painted vase on the bedside table wafts on the circulating air. As you close your eyes, you welcome the descent into sleep's comforting retreat. With each breath, you feel yourself drifting farther and farther away from the day. Endured the delicate edge of slumber and a profound sense of serenity. Carried by the deep gratitude and love of this A-frame on the lake. All the whispers of its past and the promise of the days to come. You welcome the dreamscapes of the night. Finding peace, finding harmony, finding comfort, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night.